this is how the day is starting. I haven't walked 30 feet from the shelter. I am just not overly impressed with the way North Carolina uh, maintains their trails. This is, this has been like the 20th one of these I've gone over since I've come into the state. It's 45 mile an hour wind gust today. <sighs> but I came upon this tree. Look at that. Is that a turkey tail? Somebody needs to tell me. And here are some different looking fungi. Really interesting. Really interesting. There's some more right here. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's 35 degrees, 45 mile an hour wind gusts. Last night I slept at Deep Cap Shelter. Um, it was not my favorite. It was, uh, it was creepy. And what they don't tell you is there's a shelter sign that says Deep Cap Shelter and Water. And you go down looking for the shelter and there is no shelter. The shelter's not there anymore. So when you go down to get water, you are going through thickets and all kinds of, it, it's a mess. And uh, I decided I was gonna continue hiking on. And as soon as I got back on the trail, there was a new sign for a shelter. For, it can only sleep five. Um, I was the first one there. There ended up being about eight people that came after me. So four of them were in the shelter and four of them had a tent last night and it was pouring down rain with just monumental wind gusts. Um, but I met some really nice gentlemen. I met Jason, who is, uh, he's a Marine, and I met Slug, and um, Attitude and Gratitude, he goes by AOG, he's retired Air Force, and a guy named Mule, who is retired Navy. So, <laughs> it was an interesting group of uh, fellas to be able to uh, get to know last night. They, they were really, really nice. Very, very gentlemanly. Uh, but... Had a good night, had a good night's sleep, and got out at 8.15 this morning, and it is supposed to be raining uh, all morning long <clears throat> and clearing up this afternoon. I'm 16 miles from Winding Stair Gap, and we'll see if I make it today. If I don't, then it'll be tomorrow, and I'll get picked up by a shuttle and taken into Franklin. So, good morning. I hope you all have had a good morning so far, and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Look at that. That is something. Wow. Beautiful. We're getting back to those fellows last night. You never heard so much smack in your life between the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force. It was, it was something. A lot of colorful language, but they were good guys. They were really good guys and um, very sweet. Uh, let me tell you a story about that deep gap, deep gap shelter. So, there's an old sign that says deep gap shelter in water, and you go down, of course I've already shared there was no shelter, but I had to go down later to get water, and I knew I needed to pay special attention because it's a maze, and it's a messy maze. Got down there to the water source just fine, got my water, well I got turned around, and uh, I was in a thicket, and I was lost for about 15 minutes. And I didn't panic, I stayed calm, and I just said, okay, just stop, re retrace your steps, get back to your water source. Finally got back to my water source, and then very slowly and methodically looked to make sure that I could find my way back where I needed to go. I finally did, but I thought, okay, I don't understand what just happened here. This should not have happened. Well, all those hikers that came in, they got lost. And two of them had done the AT before. So that made me feel not so bad about the fact that it happened to me. But it was disconcerting, and I'm going to do everything within my power for that not to happen again. Um, I was very fortunate that I found my way back that could have ended in a very different way. And not to over-dramatize anything, you know, but 
there are people that have been less than a mile from the trail and, and you know, they've had a hard time. So my point is, just pay attention when you go to Deep Gap. Pay attention to how you get down to that water source because it's the only water source there. How you need to get back up and then just realize there's a new shelter that's further up that just says shelter. It doesn't say Deep Gap shelter. I don't, I don't understand why they haven't changed the signs. But, you know, I don't run the system, so wow. I'm going to turn the camera around see if you can see these clouds. Can you see how they're moving? They are incredible. It is supposed to rain most of the morning. It has not started yet. Wowie. So this is the 10th or 12th, uh, one of these I've run across this morning, and while they are beautiful, those rocks are really slippery and it really slows down your time, especially when you have sort of mud bogs before and after. This one doesn't, but most of them have, and uh, you got to kind of skip from one rock to the other, you know, so your foot doesn't go down in a big, deep, wet, mushy, muddy bed of gook. Anyway, it does slow your time down. Uh, it might not to other people, but because I'm trying to be very thoughtful and careful so I don't have another slip and fall, um, it takes me a little bit longer, and that's okay. Look at that. Isn't that something? So apparently these are called turkey tails. And they are just beautiful. I love these. And I don't know what these are. Maybe they're turkey tails and they're just a different color. But boy, they are pretty. Very pretty. Blow down number 17. I'll show you how tall that is. I'm going to put my trekking pole next to it. Ugh. Look at that. It is magnificent. Wow. And if you look down there, try and zoom in. Look at that. Wow. Look at the escarpments that are over there. Incredible. The sun. That's a big wow for me. We made it to Betty Creek Gap. There's supposed to be a tent site around here, so let's just look and see what they have. I'm not seeing a clearing, but. I guess you could tent in there. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I guess this is it. Southern Anahala Wilderness. That's what it just came out of. That's going backwards. So let's go over here. So that says Betty Creek Trail up there. And I guess this is the Okay, it's about your food. That's interesting. See the blaze on the tree? Okay. Well, we're just going to keep on going. Blow down 21. And the trail is right there. I can get over right here, but it's just to show you lots and lots of blowdowns. It's impeding my progress as far as time, but there's nothing that can be done for it, so we'll just have a good attitude about it. Number 30. We've made it to Bear Pen Gap, and that poor little sign has seen better days. But here we are. And let's just keep going because I want to show you something. don't know how clear a shot this is going to be. Can you see way up there? That is Mount Albert Fire Tower. I will have reached 100 miles when I get there. And that is a 70, excuse me, that is a 752 foot ascent. So, here we go! This is on the way up to Albert Mountain. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. And this climb is hard, hard, hard. Here are the steps going up. They've got some wire meshing on them. Okay, I had to throw my trekking poles up and on my hands and knees come up that. And now, it's just a rock climb all the way up. All right. That is straight down and that's nothing but a bit of and that is nothing but a bunch of rocks. I had to throw my trekking poles up for the second time and get on my hands and knees to try and get up there. It's very very steep. And now it just goes up 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 up. And around. Well, I did it. That is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> now, I was a cheerleader. I was on the track team. I played baseball. I thought it was. I thought I knew what it was like to do something hard. Today was hard and it was dangerous. It is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh gosh. It just takes my breath away. I'm so grateful. I had a helping hand, that's for sure. Well, you can't go into the tower. They've got it bolted closed. But I came all the way up. Look at that mountain range way back there. Look at that. 
honey. Every single step of the way I heard you in my head telling me that I could do it. I wish you were here with me. I love you. Okay, Mr. Rock Strata, here you go. Here's your 4011 gajillion year old rocks. You see that quartz that's in it? Those lines of quartz. That's amazing, the quartz that's right there. And honey, and honey, that is for you too, Mr. Archaeologist. I got here at 1.20 on Tuesday, February 21st. Sometimes we don't know the strength that we have until others and sometimes divine intervention helps us along the way. I could not have done that on my own. It's a big day. You see that people? I did that. I went all the way up there. Yay me! It's kind of ridiculously hard to believe that that was so hard going up and this is what it's like coming down. You've just got to be kidding. Wowzers! Gosh, this is pretty. So, I wanted to apologize to you all. Um, you know, sometimes I get ready to start videoing and I just burst into tears and you know that was a that was a hard climb for me and for me it was dangerous it really was um it might not be for anybody else but it was for me and I I am really proud of myself but I what I want to say to others is if I can do it you can do it you can do it You know, train, eat right, practice, go on shakedown hikes. You can do it. If this is something you want to do, then do it. I'm doing it. You can do it. For you young people, you know, I'm 64. If I can do it, you can do it. For you women, if I can do it, you can do it. And for my grandkids, if I can do it, you can do it. You can do anything. What do, you, what do I always tell you kids? What do I always tell you? What are the five things? What are they? Be kind. Be kind. Be brave. Be strong. Be beautiful inside your heart and your mind. And believe in yourself. You can do anything, anything. If I believe in you, you can do it. And I appreciate you that have supported me. At some point, all these crying videos are gonna stop and I'll be better, but healing is taking place and my heart is full. It's full of joy and it's full of happiness. And it's full of in incredulation. There's a word. I'm sure every English teacher is going to stop dinner tracks on that one. 
I can't believe I did it, but I did it. I did it. Just believe, have faith, and know that even as hard as you try on your own, there are hands that lift you up and they guide and they help you achieve your goals. I believe that completely. Let's give credit where credit is due, shall we? Okay, well here is a sign out here directing everything. I've just come from Albert Mountain and this is Big Spring Gap. Some of you are going to wonder if I was afraid. I wasn't afraid, but very, mm, I don't know what the right word is, um, cautious, thoughtful, but I'm determined. And when I make up my mind, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. went up those rock boulders and a lot of people are going to say well you know you haven't seen anything yet that's okay I'll enjoy my victory for today and I don't need to worry about tomorrow and what's coming what I accomplished today is what's important to me and I hiked a hundred miles a hundred miles Can't never could. Can't never could. I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. Viewer wrote me and it made me laugh out loud so hard. She said, Nani on. And today, when I was going up that, that's what I could hear. Nani on. I know she didn't mean it in that way. But that's the way I took it, and I love that phrase. And I'm going to thank you for it, because I'm going to use it over and over, because it means something to me. I'm going to nonny on. I've got some others that write, go, nonny, go. And that means something to me, too. Especially for my little loves. From Ford and Emma and Rylan. It means a lot. From... Wit and Shep, thank you. Today's been an outstanding day. Okay, here's what I want y'all to picture. You know little T-Rex arms, how short they are compared to their legs? Well, those little T-Rex arms are equivalent to my legs. I got little tiny T-Rex arms for legs. And here we go, oh boy. It probably doesn't look like it to you, but I had to sit on that thing and swivel over to get over it because my legs were too short to just walk over it. Ridiculous. Look, Julian and Axel, Emma and Rylan, Witt and Shep, Ford. That's a doggy's head coming outside of that tree. Isn't that cool? That's pretty awesome. Okay. Another rear end scooter, and then there's a couple of hoppers over there. Oh, brother! Okay, well, I can hear water. Trees are marked there. There's a blue blaze for the shelter. That's where I'm staying tonight. Okay, there's the blue blaze. All right, I need to remember when I come out of the blue blaze, I'm going to turn left in the morning. Okay. I always have to do that. Well, let's see where this goes. Okay, here's the sign for water. Hmm. Let's see. I guess you have to go down that way and down I can see the water from there okay so let's see where the shelter is
Okay, well, that's not far off the trail at all. I don't even think it's point one. So this is Long Branch Shelter. Wow, that's a big tree. Wow. Okay, let's see what this is like. Well, I'm the first person here. It's on a steep slope. Well, the privy's back there. It's got a fire pit. And it looks to me like it's a double decker. That's the first double decker I've run into for the last four or five shelters. Uh, I don't see any beer hangs. I'll have to look and see if they have them. It's clean though. 